okay. Today I got this 65 inch on TV. If I actually look on the screen, I can see something there. And if I go up, I can actually see where it says, looks like Hulu, right there. And they got some stuff, Roku, right there, right? So it looks like we obviously have a backlight problem. Okay, so I've got my back cover off and I'm gonna check the power supply board for where the LEDs are and just check the LED strips with my tester and it looks like they're right here. We've got two lines, one line here, one line there. So you guys pretty much know, my, know the procedure, right? I'm just gonna pull those out and check them. The positive wire looks like it's red. So we'll start that way. Put our red in red. Our black lead on the other one. And it looks like we are at 100 and something with that say 113 volts and I can see actually see backlights coming through the back of the TV okay it looks like it's just on that one side so now let's check the other wire double check and make sure my TV is unplugged it is okay and we also got 113 volts hold on is it yep at 46 milliamps okay Hmm, and I didn't even check that. Did I see the backlights on the other side? Yep, got backlights. Make sure it's holding steady at 113. Nothing jumping around. I got backlights. Okay, now that still doesn't mean that our LEDs are good I'm gonna turn this current down on my on my LED checker okay and if I see anything that lights up slow or starts flashing then I'm gonna get a lower voltage but I just want to make sure that we're good the uh, meter jumps around when I put when I take the current down then that means that we have a leaky LED okay I got backlights, that's the line for the right side of me, and I do have backlights, okay, 32 milliamps, all right, seems like it was steady, check this one, nope, I got backlights through the chassis, I can see through the holes here, okay, anyway, you get the idea that those strips are good. I can tell that this is the LED circuit, obviously, uh, because we have a, most likely this capacitor right here is filtering that voltage going to the plugs, and looks like it's being driven by maybe the transformer, right, which is being driven by, because that transformer is obviously all on the secondary side. It's not a switching transformer for the power supply. Okay, so there must be a standalone transformer for the LED circuit. And this is like a MOSFET up under this heat sink right here, right? And that's probably most likely driving the transformer and then producing the voltage on the LED strips. Okay, the main thing to kill this is just check and make sure that we have voltage going across the LED strips. All right, so I was just kind of, kind of getting of uh, an idea of looking, just looking at the circuit and see how it was working. All right, so in case I don't, I can just trace back. So hopefully that's what's wrong is we're not getting any voltage there, or maybe the incorrect voltage is too low. So I'm gonna put my my meter on DC volts uh, because we're on cold ground we're on this side of the line. All right, where the LED circuit is on the secondary side or cold side, I'm just gonna I can just ground my meter anywhere metal on a chest. I just put it like in that hole, 
right there. And I'm gonna go with the positive, because that's where our B plus or our voltage, DC voltage, should be going to first, right? And it's not even plugged in yet. I got 360 volts. Okay. So I got this capacitor right here. All right. It's what has that charge on it still. Okay. So I was trying to hold it in, but let's just simply just go ahead and plug it in. Okay. TV's not on yet. Let's see what I got across here. I got 429 volts. The TV on. We hit power. It's flashing. Okay, so I got voltage there. Actually, it's actually going down. Okay, that's 269. Okay, we're at 318 there. 269, so that's a voltage drop. I was supposed to be, supposedly anyway, right? Okay, so I got voltage there, right? And the TV is on, so I'm going to check at this legend right here. And look for the backlight on voltage. As you can see for this plug right here, we've got ground adjust on, looks like BK for backlight. So that's the signal coming from the well, voltage or signal coming from the main board to tell the um, <clears throat> backlight to, turn, to cut on when you hit the power, right? Five volts on off, that's power supply on, obviously. And this is our rail. We got a 12 volt rail and a five volt, and five volt standby is marked. VSB that means five volt standby. So I want to check and see if we got backlight on. Okay, on BK that's the third pin. This pin right here should be that should be ground, right? Let's double check that. Press me unplug the TV. Okay, so I almost feel like I smell something burning too. Wow, okay. So that should be ground. Let's just double check that. Okay, so that's 0 .7, 0 0.079. All right. And so that's ground. We got ground adjust pin. Okay, adjust the second pin. Backlight on off should be this pin right here. I'm gonna stick my meter in there. Okay, put it on DC volts. And that should come up to once I hit the power, or it may come on automatically when as soon as I plug it in. But well, that should jump up to about, I don't know, anywhere between 2.7 to 3.5 volts, something like that. Four volts. Could be as high as five volts. Let's see. Turn it on. Plug it in, okay? So it's plugged in, the power is not on yet. And I'm looking at the light at the bottom of the TV. The standby light it is steady red. So we hit the power, one, two, three. And there it goes. We have our back, okay, what happened? Okay, it probably cut off, maybe, let's see. Oh, that's why, because the TV just booting up. There is a MOSFET right here, and this is extremely hot. Okay, right here, looks like a MOSFET just bent over, and using this as a heat sink, I guess. Yeah, that's probably driving this transformer right here, which is going through this capacitor, obviously and going here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the drive signal on the MOSFET on, on the gate and, and see if it's, since I see the transformer here, 
and we're using the MOSFET, obviously we need, the MOSFET is obviously driving it, okay? All right, yeah, even though it's all on the secondary side. Okay, so I'm gonna put my meter on the drain pin and put in DC bolts right here. So that's obviously the bolts that are supplying the LED strips, right? So I'm gonna use this so I won't slip up and shorten anything. So I'm gonna put my meter on there. I'm gonna put this right on the drain pin, okay? I'm gonna hit power. Yeah, that seems almost a little bit too high. And obviously it wouldn't be, I don't think it would be shorted. Just put my meter in. I can put it in, in diode or beep. But since I'm on the drain already, uh, with the red lead, let's go to ground, a little short. I'm going to go on, that's the source pin, no short and the drain pin, I'm sorry, the gate pin, I don't have a short. Just do it this way, double check. I was just touching, yeah. Now I got my meter in diode mode. Yep. Yeah. That MOSFET is good. Okay, so I turned the board over just to check for, make sure nothing was burnt up underneath on any surface mount device. And here, well, see, I got a circle right there in blue. That is the actual FET. And we verified it by, you know, just want to make sure it wasn't a diode or anything. Because there is obviously a PWM chip or controller I see right here. And so this will be the actual MOSFET right here. And if we look at the gate, because the, I actually the FET is like bent over facing toward us. So the gate pin is always to the left of the gate that is going through the resistors here. It is going to this IC, obviously, right? So what's the next thing I want to check is I want to make sure and see if we have any drive. Okay, so like I said, the MOSFET is good, right? No shorts. And if we follow, this is that little transformer. Okay. Want to follow the drain pin. And this stuff has this conformal coat on it. That's why I couldn't, it's kind of hard to get a reading here. Okay. And this is that transformer here on the secondary side. Right, but they're just not using these pins on the other side because they're all shorted together, not going anywhere. So actually, they're just using this as a big, just using the one side for a big, you know, inductor or coil. Okay, so it's coming over here, and then it's going to our negative line, LED minus line. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put my meter on the gate of this MOSFET. Okay, the MOSFET is facing backwards. Right, it's facing down, I mean. So the actual gate, like I said, here's the pin to the far left. It's the gate pin, it should be this pin right here. So that should be gate. And this is getting very, very hot. It's a good chance, hopefully, that um, we got a problem. We're not getting to get any drive. Okay, so I'm just going to the gate pin. So this is the source pin on the end to the right drain. And then the gate pin is all to the left of the IC when it's facing towards you. Okay, so I got another gate. I got my meter grounded and chassis ground anywhere in the metal because we're on, we're on the cold side of the power supply, so we can use anything metal on the chassis if we can't find ground. And my meter is in the frequency mode, hertz, right? So let me just fire this up, plug it in. Yeah, just hit power and nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna double check using my oscilloscope 
and I'm gonna go to the gate pin. I'm just gonna ground it. I got an extension right here, right here. Around my lead there. And I'm gonna go to the gate pin with my scope just to make sure that we don't have any drive. And because that fat was running very hot. Okay, I've got TV plugged in. All right. I've got my oscilloscope lead on the gate pin. And I'm not gonna go make sure that's not shorted. Short enough to not looks okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna go put my scope on the um on the drain pin because we'll get like a hundred and I mean four hundred some bolts there, so I don't wanna so it might be a little bit too high. And I'm gonna hit the power. TV's on, and hit auto. There's absolutely nothing there. Okay, so I actually have another board that um, I'm gonna try. Had a neighbor give me a cracked screen, 65 inch on, and uses the same board. So I pulled all the boards up out of it before I threw it in the garbage can, right? So luckily I did that. And let's just see. Okay. So I'm going to plug it in. That's the new board. Oh, the other board, right? And uh, hit power. Voila! Got backlights. We have action, right? And if I put my meter on Hertz. And go to that drive pin, that gate pin. Look at that. 82 kilohertz. Right at the gate pin. Okay. I can go to the drive pin. Alright, we're not gonna keep it there. But let me go to DC bolts. And see that bolt is probably gonna be a little bit lower. Yeah, that is actually 212. Okay, there's our 338. Let me go back to the the drain pin. Okay, that's 91 volts. Okay, so we got 91 volts going through the drain pin. Alright, and by the time it gets out of this transformer here, okay, it's going to be, because he's... These connectors are connected in series. 338, that's our high. That should be our 212. Should be 212 right here. And then there should be the 90 volts right there, right? Yep, there it goes. All right, at the end of that other strip. At the negative line or the return line. So I've got my oscilloscope lead at the drain pin. Okay, I'm going to plug it in. Okay. I'm going to hit the power. There we go. That is our drive signal there, folks. All right. Now, actually, what I want to do, I'm going to actually show you what the problem is. See, we got backlights. See here, here, here. Okay. But what the problem was, was actually... This IC. Here's our FET. It's the old board. 
This is our FET right here, okay? And this is the IC. And what happened was, <laughs> when I went to hook my scope up uh, on the um, the gate, uh, I forgot, the, I still had the TV set plugged in, right? And so I actually shorted the FET out right here. Now the FET is shorted. Just to make sure that we don't have any dry, and because that FET was running very hot. Ooh. It should be nice to unplug it, right? I'm not getting shit, bro. It's crazy. I'm gonna fuck that up, bro. Did I? But yeah, this is a problem right here. Uh, I did order some, but um, they're coming from. I had to go overseas to order. They're gonna be here for another month. So, but yeah, the problem was it was getting everything. There's a naval pin on here. It was. I wanted to show all, all show you guys that on the video and the VCC, but it just wasn't getting the drive output signal to the gate, all right? That was the only problem with the ice that I seen. I didn't see any burn resistance or anything, so yeah, so that was a problem, but still good enough that we know that it is the power supply board, because otherwise, in most case scenarios, what I do if I flash a flashlight up to it, and I don't check the LEDs, or check that stuff what I just checked, right? The LEDs, most likely the LEDs are going to test bad and they're going to be an open line or whatever, right? But, um, yeah, uh, but I, I'm, luck, I'm lucky I, I tested the LEDs instead of starting, because I was actually going to start opening the TV up, right? Like, get ready to change the backlights. Okay, now the ultimate test of time. We got it plugged in. Okay. Get the power. Light is steady red, hit it. Yep, so it came right up. That's it guys, we are done. Till then, I will see you guys in the next one. Big Dog out.